guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I may look a little older and I may look a little wiser and that is because I am. It was my birthday last week so inevitably I'm older and I am wiser. And I am back <laughs> to film a little what I got for my birthday video. I love watching these videos, I love seeing what people got for their birthdays and what they got for Christmas and all of that jazz. Um, but people always do one of those disclaimers that's like I'm not boasting, I'm not showing off. So basically I'm not boasting and I'm not showing off, but I like watching these videos, so I hope you do too. So let me show you what I got for my birthday. The light keeps going and coming back, so if it keeps changing colour, I apologise. But basically this is the first thing that I got and this is from both of my parents and it is the Canon G7X Mark II. I just wanted a new vlogging camera, I wanted to get a little bit more professional in the old YouTube department. Um, and I felt like what was really putting me off from vlogging was the fact that I didn't like the quality of my footage. I did a New York vlog, which I will link down below, but I really enjoyed filming it, but I felt like it just came out badly and it sort of gave you a headache because it was so jittery. And it was because I used this big Canon camera because my Samsung one, which is like a small compact one like this, when I tried to pan, it didn't pan nicely. It was like blurry the whole time and it didn't auto focus very fast. Um, and also I felt like when you face it on yourself, it actually made your skin look horrendous. And so therefore I just didn't like it and I don't want it anymore. So instead I did some research and I found this Canon G7X Mark II and I watched a whole load of reviews. I recommend watching millions and millions of reviews if you can. There were obviously some better cameras out there but they were much more expensive. So actually I really feel like I went to the ends of the earth to find this camera um, and I absolutely love it. I think it's really great. I really like the quality of the images. It takes good images and good video. It pans really nicely, it auto focuses really fast, um, it has a flip up screen so that you can put it down. I hate it when they flip down because you can't then sit it. What else can I say about it? I just love it. So yeah, that was my main present for my mum and my dad. I think it was around £500 which is quite a lot of money but they shared it. I will link it down below but I'm very very grateful for this camera. I really think it's amazing and if you need a camera I would really recommend this one. I really love it. This is the box. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I felt that was necessary, but in case you want to see the box, that's the box. I kept it, put it here, just in case you want to see it. So, you know what? It's in the video now. Then next, to get even more camera equipment, I got this from my dad, which is a little tripod. And what is really good about this, you can just do a little normal, you know, tripod situation. It also has one of these little level things, so you can check whether you've got it, you know, perfectly straight. Um, but also you can wrap it around chairs and stuff and on trees uh, so you can take pictures and videos um, wherever you go. The only really annoying thing is it's like quite hard to get it back to straight. I feel like if you were in one of those like OCD moods you could sit here for ages trying to get that back to straight but yeah. Then from my grandma I really wanted a beret and I've been looking high and I've been looking low for a beret that I like. I eventually found this, I was going to put it on there, I just thought it was going to take too long to organise so I'm just going to hold it. I got this beret from TK Maxx, it was $7.99, so I bought it for myself and then I just said to my granny, here's the beret, it's $7.99, would you like to give it to me? So she gave me $7.99, I gave her the beret, she wrapped it, I unwrapped it and now I have the beret. But it's actually from David and Young, is the initial brand and there are lots of these in many many TK Maxx's around the country, I have found them. Uh, so if you go out now you can probably find one if you would like to go and get them, um, but yeah. From my best friend, she bought me a little succulent plant. But that's actually downstairs and I really can't afford to go and get it, but it's really cute. Thank you very much, Gina. Came in a little pot and yeah, we both really like a good cactus or a good succulent. So that's what she got me and she also got me this. Guess what it is? If you don't know what it is, what do you think it is? <laughs> but basically, it is a... You put your... I don't know what you would call it. Does it have a name? It doesn't have a name, but it is basically one of those things you put your nail varnish into there and then you paint your nails whilst you have it in there. I'm really explaining this badly, but basically you rest your nail varnish in there so that then you don't drop it on the floor and you can paint your nails around it. And I used it last night to paint my nails blue and then I decided I didn't like the blue, so that is why I have disgusting remnants of blue on my fingernails. So I was going to leave this till the last, save the best for last, but I can't wait and I'm going to have to do it right bang in the middle. So this is the baby of all babies, the bag of all bags, the bag I have always wanted. I wasn't expecting it and so therefore I just love it. I just really love this bag. So this is my Prada bag and yeah, it's in black with silver hardware. I think I'll do another video more in more detail about this bag but 
How beautiful is this guy? Smells like new cars, um, but yeah, it's, it's something else, you know? I can't get over it quite yet. The strap is this sort of like chunky strap, so, cause it's actually quite heavy. This strap makes it a lot more comfortable. You can sort of change the length of the strap if you want. You open it with this little, mm -mm release the flap and then inside you've got like two little compartments <laughs> i don't want to stretch it you know i wore it all holiday and i can't wait to wear it in the winter i think the black is like a really good color i'm feeling like these two are going to be some great accessories for the winter i'm absolutely loving this bag and extremely grateful that i have it it's just absolutely Next, some little things from my mum um, because she got me the camera and I really wanted some sort of costume jewellery. So she got me this thick kind of chunky gold chain from Accessorize. Maybe I should put that on right now. So this is the gold chain kind of thingy. It's from Accessorize and doesn't tell me how much it was. No, she ripped that off because that is polite and you shouldn't go looking how much things are. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It's, yeah, it's sort of chunkier than I would usually go for. I go for really thin stuff. But recently I've been wearing kind of plainer dresses, like for instance, this one. And sometimes you go out and you just want something chunkier and a little statement piece. So that is what I asked for and that is what I got because I keep stealing her stuff basically. So she's trying to get me away from her stuff and getting me some of my own stuff. So the next thing I got was something for my sister and her boyfriend and it is this cute little pink bag. Yep, another bag, but I like bags and it's a very small, cute one. It's this lovely pink color and they got it from Florence, Italy when they were on holiday. And apparently Anya Hindmarch told them that this leather market was a really good place to go and buy leather goods from. So they went there and bought me this. And if it's good enough for Anya, it's good enough for Blaze. <laughs> um, but basically it has a little like flap and a little tassel and then inside there's one main compartment and another little front storage. I haven't taken that stuff yet. Sister got herself the same one so we can go matching. And it's got this really nice crossbody strap which you can make longer or shorter. Oh, you can make it quite a lot shorter actually. It reminds me of a Chloe bag. I can't remember which one. So thank you to my sister and her boyfriend for this bag. It's very, very cute and it's very fitting with me and my room. Got another little stocking fillery kind of one that I got off my mum. Because this little sausage doggy toy, um, basically I really want a mini Dachshund and so does my boyfriend. And we're gonna get one. When I move out of home, I'm allowed to get one. Well, she can't stop me basically. But she can stop me whilst I'm living at home. So in the meantime, she got me this little cute cuddly toy and I really enjoy this. My dogs are actually really scared of this, which is strange because it's basically a toy so I don't really understand why they're scared. Um, but yeah. Then the final thing you will have seen if you follow me on Instagram because I took it on holiday with me and posted a couple of Instagrams with it, but it is in its dust bag right now. Um, but basically, oh, the light has gone. Basically, it is this little beach bag, wicker kind of basket beach bag with two little pom-poms, which is strange because they're sort of the wrong color for the, for the handles, but that does not bother me in the slightest. And this is from KU, K-A-Y-U. And I just really, really like it. I have never had a beach bag like this before and they're very on trend at the moment. So I was very pleased when I received this. You can get so many different ones from the brand. I was looking them up online afterwards. Um, but yeah, I love this. I absolutely love this. So I'm sure this will be making an appearance on probably every single holiday I go on for the next. 10 years. Thank you guys for watching. That brings us to the end of my video. I was extremely thankful and grateful for everything that I got for my birthday. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to keep up to date with what I'm doing over here on my YouTube channel.